Hi, and welcome to CEI in the News. Today is June 10th, 2010, and I'm your host, Greg Conco. And I'm Nicole Chandela with a brief summary of some of CEI's recent appearances in the media. The Senate will vote this week on Lisa Murkowski's resolution to block the EPA from regulating greenhouse gases under the Clean Air Act, a defining moment in the history of the EPA. Either the Senate will chastise the agency and end its current power grab, or senators will sit back and let the EPA continue to stretch its own authority. At this point, EPA is a bit like the blob. Unless someone like Senator Murkowski succeeds in containing it, the agency will grow and grow until it's a swollen, mountain-sized version of its former self. CEI's Marla Lewis penned articles on this topic for the National Journal and Pajamas Media, and he co-authored a recent Forbes article with former Virginia Governor George Allen, charging that the EPA move could trigger a regulatory cascade more costly than even several climate bills Congress has specifically rejected. Chris Horner had a piece in the Daily Caller this week calling the EPA's power grab, quote, the most expansive regulatory intervention in American history. Strong language, but the EPA has done a lot lately to incur Chris's wrath. As Chris points out, the EPA has been a disaster during the ongoing Climategate scandal. They refuse to acknowledge that their global warming allies were manipulating data, and the agency has even taken steps to silence whistleblowers. Like all overbloated government authorities, EPA seems to be more concerned with self-promotion than with good governance. Hopefully, the Senate will keep the EPA's ego in check this Thursday. Either way, look forward to more CEI commentary on the vote later this week. Yes, we're looking forward to the Senate vote, and we're also looking forward to the Supreme Court's decision in the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, or Peekaboo, case, in which CEI Sam Kasman and Hans Botter are among the lawyers challenging the agency. That decision is expected to be handed down by the end of June. Sam and Hans argue that appointments to the accounting board are unconstitutional since members are appointed by the SEC. According to the Constitution, though, senior federal officers must be appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. Federal Appeals Court Judge Brett Kavanaugh called our challenge, quote, the most important separation of powers case regarding the President's appointment and removal powers to reach the courts in the last 20 years. While Sam and Hans continue to monitor things on the legal side, CEI's Ian Murray had a piece in the American Spectator this week arguing that small businesses will benefit if the Supreme Court holds that peekaboo appointments are unconstitutional. Actually, what Ian says is that small businesses will be freed from the, quote, bureaucratic tentacles of peekaboo. Hopefully, one of the justices will read Ian's piece and find a place for the phrase bureaucratic tentacles in a concurring opinion. Well, it's that time of the year again, and CEI's annual dinner will be held next Thursday, June 17th. We hope you plan to attend. Megan McLaughlin, who organizes the event every year, is with our correspondent, William Yateman, now. Will? Thanks, Nicole. I'm here today with CEI's Senior Director of Finance and Operations, Megan McLaughlin, here to talk about CEI's annual dinner next week. Megan, tell me, are any tickets available? There are. There are just a few tickets left. If you hurry, you can get one. Wow, the hottest ticket in town. Tell me, I understand that Judge Kaczynski is going to be the keynote speaker this year. Tell me some about that. Uh, Judge Kaczynski is known to be brilliant, uh, very funny, very charming. You don't want to miss it. Very interesting. Now, let's see. Megan, I think the question we all want to know is, well, what's up with the mask? Well, I'm getting in the spirit of CEI's after party, which is known to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, if you buy a ticket for the dinner, you can come and see yourself. Truly fascinating. Thanks, Megan. Back to you, Nicole. Thanks, Will. That's about it for this week. Just a reminder, if you haven't picked up Cigar Magazine this month, you should. Sam Kasman's article on dining is well worth it. Thanks for watching CEI in the News. Please subscribe to our channel, and remember all the links to the stories we've mentioned can be found in the description box below the screen. This week's CEI in the News brought to you by The Really Inconvenient Truths and Power Grab both available on Amazon.com.